Go, Virgo. It is time for your bonus reading. Yay. How are you doing? This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So everyone, check your charts. This resonates with you a good deal. No, don't worry about it. It's just a card game after all. And if you want a personal reading after this, my email, Instagram, and Facebook are down below. But I prefer my email. However, you can choose whichever one's more convenient for you. Right? right. First reading's on the house. Everything else comes with a price, of course. And I do take tips and donations. Thank you very kindly in advance. Now, my loves, this is going to be a Thunderdome. So there's going to be two peoples, two readings, right? You and a person you're dealing with or two people in your life or whatever it is, right? You decide. Pick your adventure, right? Group one and group two. Group one, you have the Hierophant and the situation is the world's ending all wonky. Something went clink, clink, clink and now like the wheel just keeps spinning but nothing's happening. Like putting the car in neutral and holding the clutch in and just coasting. Honestly, you shouldn't hold the clutch in. You should just put it in neutral and coast. Right? But you have the engine and the engine doesn't make the car go because it's a neutral. Right? It's kind of like that. It's just same shit, different day. Now we got the five of pentacles. Someone feeling left out in the cold. Obstacle and challenge is a queen of cups offering her cup to the world reverse. That is looking at her like, mm, I don't know you, bitch. It's like, who that, you know? We got the three of swords reverse, fear and rejection, pile driver to the heart, too much heartbreak to recover. And the five of swords reverse. Someone like won a battle, but they lost a war. Going towards this queen of cups right here, offering a cup. What's the beginning theme, please, for group one? Filling a void! Filling some emptiness up. Hmm, group one. You might feel like you gotta delve into your artistic side some in order to deal with the everyday mundane. Like, you know, you're fucking bored, you're always tired, you're vacuuming the roof of your house because fuck it, everything else needs clean, why not, you know? Trust trying to find something that gives you a little bit of hope, I think. Inside, you have so much stuff going on around you, but on the outside, you look like worried and stressed out and just sad all over. So we have the Hierophant reverse. There's a lack of commitment here, or there might not be a commitment, but there are things that someone does not know. This is Taurus's card, and it's pointing directly to this bitch with the cup, right? And it's like, there's a fear rejection about... Like, is someone being dramatic? <laughs> like, I'm just, I'm just putting that, like, is someone being eerily dramatic a little bit? Like, is this Queen of Cups playing a role, Virgo? Of, like, someone who's utterly heartbroken and distraught, but in reality is, like, below, they're just so, because they're facing the same fucking direction, you know? When she goes forward this way, she has a lovely cup, but going forward, because she's facing the past, right? So this was her in the past. Over here, though, like, whoever you're dealing with wants to come in back in from the cold in order to give that sweet love, and they used to. But over here, it's like, they're kind of, like, manipulating, playing head games, being like, I'm so heartbroken, and I don't know if I can da 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 And down below, it's just like, yeah, da, poof, yeah, stupid, yeah, da, da. You know? This world <laughs> reverse. Saturn's card, right? Capricorn's energy, of course. Just looking at this Queen of, uh, of Cups like there's something wrong with her. You know, questioning. Like, she turned herself upside down because she don't want to touch the cup. Like, here, I pour it on you. Uh, no thanks. Actually, I'm going to go this way. It's like floating away from her and she's trying to chase it. Because someone was left out in the cold because of their bullshit. Right? So, this Hierophant Reverse, something about a lack of commitment. I, it could be a rebellion or a mutiny to, like, some group, sect, belief, policy, church, community, family, friends, boss, associate, co-workers, higher-ups, ice cream man, the school system, you know, all that shit, right? 
first card we originally had was the Seven of Swords reverse. Someone tried to get away with some sneaky shit and got caught up in their bullshit. Um, some unfairness was at play, possibly with uh, Esther, the Queen of Wands. I call her in my deck. She's Esther. Right? This is an odd tune, but whatever. So let's see, what's the next card? Yeah! Someone tried to get some property back that wasn't theirs and it came back on them. Damn. Just damn. Like, damn. Anyway, the world reverse. Like, the situation right here. Things are not closing out properly. Or maybe somebody feels like that, right? I think it's Queen of Cups is like... I don't know, man. Like, someone decided to walk away despite the fact that their cups were full. Like, they loved whatever it was they decided to walk away from. Like, nothing was working. So it was just kind of like, you know, like, how much... Like, or, or it's not going to work when they try to walk away. Couldn't really be either or, but I really feel like it's because nothing was working in their favor. You know, nothing they learned from the past was working, and nothing that they were currently doing now was going to work. So I think that's why they walked away. So, But, some, but like, I don't know. Like, this person's trying to leave, but they get caught up in something, or they get noticed, or they get picked up by somebody who's paid attention. And their intention for leaving the way they were is because... Somebody was... There might have been somebody trying to control them, or this could be a control freak. Trying to regain their power over all the people in this little town right here because he's looming over the town like Godzilla or some shit I don't know five of pentacles reverse right like someone's being left out in the cold and that's because that person raggedy all is now realizing like they kind of like manifested this shit to happen to themselves now we got the queen of cups right She's offering this cup to this, trying to offer this cup to this person who's kind of going away. She wants to give him a wish fulfillment with this ninth cup, being like, Oh, here, I'm going to give you this cup now. And it's just like they're already trying to leave. Why are you trying to get him to take the cup now? Could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. Could be you, Virgo. Fannie Mae! Oh, love Fannie Mae. She is just so adorable. She really is. I love this bitch. Like, of all the cards, Fannie Mae is definitely my favorite for the Queen of Pentacles. I love her. Ugh. She's just so happy and cute. Alright, what's next for this? Ah, what? <laughs> this Queen of Cups? The obstacle with this Queen of Cups is her offering to this Queen of Pentacles her cup in order for them to be together? Like, you gotta offer it genuinely in order to... Or this person needs to offer it to you genuinely, Virgo. One of the two. In order to get this romance, right? Or bromance. Or whatever ants. Or it, would it be cis ants? Or a girl ants? Girl mance? I don't know. Either way. Fear rejection, unhealable heartbreak, pile driver to the heart. Um, someone isn't taking any action, but they sure as fuck is wondering where somebody went to a while ago. Like, it, it's been a minute since they've been gone, and now all of a sudden it's just like, where did they go? Like, the, like this page of wands right here isn't going to where this person can see them or focus on them, and that's like, that's the heartbreak or whatever, and it's just kind of like, Jesus. Five of Swords Reverse. Someone played some games and they lost the entire war. They won a couple battles 
They won some shit, but they lost the war. Could be a Leo involved here. Someone wants to appear very happy. And satisfied fi with their finances, or they're satisfied building their finances. Be like, yeah, I got the strength to do this, or whatever. Ooh. Group one, your ending theme is four of cups. This sadness, this grief over what's happened right here, where all you can do is look at them and feel the emotions and dwell in them, is causing you to feel as though you are just unfulfilled in every aspect, it seems. It seems like nothing fills your other seven. Like, you have the seven cups, right? But those four cups in the river were like antiques, and they got ruined in that river. They don't even look the same. These are replicas. And it's like, no matter what you try to create out of these replicas, what you draw is nothing that's ever, ever similar to what you originally have. You even still have the same look on your face in both pictures. They both look sad, drawn out, emotionless. There's a K of Pentacles here. Someone might feel like they're owed something, or someone just might be a fucking mooch. That might be you, Turgo. <laughs> Which is kind of crazy, but whatever. Um, you might be a little bit bitter and been trying to heal yourself. You want a clean slate. Maybe dealing with a Capricorn. But someone has a clean slate to um, get away from some... Bad connection, toxicity, you know, that word. I hate that word, but I use it, so what can I say? Um, but not a very healthy relationship, one where it brought out the worst in people. And then there's this King of Wands here, um, who was pissed about something. I don't know, let's see what they're pissed about. Here we go. Someone's trapped in their head. About a love situation gone awry. My, oh, here's the Queen of Cups again. She's got her emotions all bottled up now, just stewing over shit. She hasn't burnt the rabbit yet, but it, mm, she might be in there. But she's definitely holding some shit back, right? Just mean mugging that cup. And it's the right thing to do. <laughs> what the fuck? She's mean mugging justice. Good cup. Like, do, like, doing the just right thing. Are you... <laughs> Wow, okay, that makes sense, I guess, but yeah. So, okay, let me get this straight. She's mean, like, really? It's like he's in her cup, he'd be like, sup, bitch, I know you see me. Damn. Like, she's all pissed she needs to do the right thing after the separation. Um, just not actually come into that, okay, so like, definitely not come into some truth about it when it comes to the actual separation. Well, now we know why the King of Wands is pissed. Good deal. I feel like something bit my back, and now I'm like, hmm, that's not cool. Hmm. So he's not entirely happy about why this separation happened to begin with. And he's all pissed off like the Queen of Cups right here. Like, I think the Queen of Cups wants to offer her a cup, but she's keeping that cup closed in this variation now because that means doing the right thing, which I think she doesn't want to do. Because she's got the wrong idea about the separation or how somebody probably chose one over another or something like that. Something like that, you know? Hmm. Past special relationships. Someone might have walked away from a past relationship with someone they were close to. Um, in order to start a new cycle, now it's upright and it's looking over all this shit like, Pretty! Now I'm free to go! Or whatever. Um, they, it might be a new offer of love for with this new cycle. Oh, no, no. If someone tries to... A new... Wait, what? 
Someone offering a cup back would be like a betrayal. Or it would lead to a betrayal. Something of the two. Or it starts some shit, that's for sure. Um, this person might open up a little bit. Okay, so maybe somebody opens up emotionally about how they felt betrayed. This person might offer a pentacle to give somebody whatever it is they're wishing for. Hmm. Because it's at a crossroads right now. And it doesn't work. What? It doesn't work. It doesn't work. One more. Oh, it doesn't work because the tower's avoided. Huh. Well, damn, Virgo. Group one, that was for you. We're going to move on to group two now. That was interesting. Strange. It still doesn't, it's like, it doesn't work. Something doesn't work. I don't know what doesn't work, but something don't work. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh, I forgot that one. Let's see, group two. What is up with you? Let you chill with the music for a minute. Judgment reverse. Oh, well, that's a good way of starting shit. <laughs> Either not resurrecting something or having the wrong idea about something. Like, bad idea. Situation is past events or people or things. Possibly fond memories. Uh, wants and wishes. Um, someone, uh, someone's happily ever after is boring. It's not as fulfilling as it used to be. The obstacle and challenge right now, though, is the magician. The fears and rejections, Knight of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, someone wanting to charge in and say some words for a fight. What goes around comes around. What? Wait, no, not, what? Who the fuck said that? Uh, <laughs> what started this shit and how it will end is what I actually meant to say. Uh, this is how this shit started. This is how it's going to come full circle. Justice. Libra's card, right? Good karma. Or justice will be served. One of the two. Wanting to come back in from the cold. I want to get warm now. My toes. Bitch. Like with frostbite and such, you know? Because that's a terrible thing to linger on. Right? Right. You lose limbs and such. I mean, literally, you can. It turns an ugly black, and it looks really creepy, and it falls off, and it's really crazy. If you've never, like, heard of the Franklin Expedition, please look it up, because I think you would like it, Virgo. People go to cannibalism and die horrible deaths. It's all right, It's right up your alley, I promise you. <laughs> Alrighty. Judgment reverse leads to this magician who's an obstacle and challenge. But there is also a fear and rejection when it comes to confrontation, actually taking the action to fight or communicate with this person in a possibly really harsh, hostile, com um, not competitive, uh, what am I thinking? I'll say combative, combative, um, wow, that was quick, okay, um, combative kind of energy. Confrontational. That's what I mean. You, you, like, it's like you, it's like there's a fear to confront this person, group two. Now, the situation calls for something from the past. How people like got along, maybe kids, happy memories and shit like that. But the problem is, like everyone's fucking bored now. So it's like justice is coming in to stretch the karma. The bad judgment though is running away and not confronting the situation. 
right? Expecting to be able to wait for good things to come to you. The f fluid forest, right? Six of cups. Fond memories and such. Ew. Someone's kind of idolizing that, but be very careful, whoever that is, because you might turn it into a drug, right? But there is idolization going on about that shit, how the past was, how happy everybody was, but everyone's bored now, and, uh, you know, someone just really isn't in the mood to fight. They don't feel like there's anything, any passion behind it or anything to gain from it, right? magician is like trying to manipulate something trying to test something out something to do with like not when like I almost feel like he's the one manipulating this knight not to do anything but I'm not sure he could be anybody really anyway Ten of Cups reverse. This fulfillment is no longer fulfilling. It's boring. It's bland. It's like, ah, uh, I should just go get a mistress. Fuck it. What's the worst that's gonna happen? They're gonna break up with me? Oh, it'll be new. Or whatever. Or something. It's something about, like, this whole happily ever after that isn't happy anymore. Um, it's secure. For real. Like, for rizzle, my nizzles. Right? You know, someone might feel a little bit comfortable, but they're definitely not giving up their vices because I came up with her, but I'm not going to lay it down. Or they find security with an empress right here. Could be an Aries female, a Taurus, or a Libra. Venetian energy, right? <laughs> maybe they feel like she's their security? Or maybe they're just bored with the scenario they're in because maybe their family is broken up and they just want to be secured with the person they used to have. Now this magician right here is the obstacle and challenge. Fannie Mae once again, but Fannie Mae looks like a bitch. Fannie Mae's saying bitch shit. <laughs> and is very impatient and very inconsiderate with the temperance card reversed right here. Like, Fannie Mae does not have any time for anyone's bullshit. Like, if you're back on your bullshit, you can get off my porch, you know? Could be you, Virgo. Also, it could be a Capricorn or a Taurus, right? But this person isn't, like, giving a shit, I think, about morals. I don't think they're giving a shit about, like, being calm with people. I think they're just like, nah, nah, man, nah, nah. I'm going to throw a fit right now. When you know, it's like that. Now this fear and rejection right here. Now I swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, um, and Libra's down here as well. Ooh, excuse me. Um. Hmm. There's a fear of confronting this person, and it's like someone's just like ignoring what is and is not fair. The Justice card, once again. Virgo, um, you are symbolized in that. Your sign's actually on the floor in front of the judge. This person is also ignoring what is fair and just uh, leaving cruelly with their cup, right? Maybe you're afraid someone's just gonna, like, I don't know, like, disappear for no reason? And maybe it's this uh, empress. Maybe you feel like, you know, she's stable. Maybe you're surrounded by people <laughs> you fucking hate. Okay, this justice right here. Someone wants an Amazon package. Someone wants a good package. Someone's delivering the goods, right? Three of pentacles. And separating. After a long period of time? Huh. Is someone delivering divorce papers? Because, like, the justice could talk about legal matters. Someone delivered, like, the subpoena being like, you need to show for divorce court, and you have a restraining order on you. Or something like that. I don't know. Maybe you were worried about, like, somebody not doing something the right way like they're supposed to. 
Would they end up doing it anyway in a very, like, professional manner or something? Or the mailman's, like, really cool and, like, talks to you about, like, his favorite bands? Someone bit off more than they can chew and now they want to come back inside from the cold. You might be trying to tell somebody or someone's trying to tell you that they no longer want a part of a relationship, I think. I'm not sure. Let's see. Yeah, this Empress is all pissy right now. Who knows why, though? Who knows? Oh, because someone was playing some games with her and she's got her back turned. She walked away or whatever, right? Oh, that was probably the person who was playing games and whatnot. So there was some manifestation that was created in order to close this fucking door. Right? So, the Emperor, right here, got all fucking pissed and just turned his eyes away like, Fuck you, bitch. I don't need you. I got this bitch right here. Sure, she's a little younger and kind of, like, doesn't know what's going on, but it's perfect because then I don't have to explain shit. Right? And then all of a sudden, boom, they got to, like be like, you know what, I don't want to be out in the cold. It's really chilly, you know? And they start going back over here. It's like they tried to be this Queen of Wands, but they were naive and trying to look good and rule at the same time. You know, they're kind of like mulling over the fact that they got a little bit of grief and let things go the way that they did. Um, all because they couldn't like really adjust themselves or restrict themselves from their own like temptations or whatever. You know, let their emotion, let their uh, moral compass just go all in whack and shit, right? Now, someone is not offering their love up and they're being kind of immature about it. And that's what's bringing the tower moment. Could be you, Virgo, or another earth sign, Cap, Taurus, Virgo. This is also the counterpart to the Queen of Pentacles. So he just showed the fuck up. And this person is willing to work on something or establish some sort of trade. They just don't know what it is yet. So they're kind of confused, right? But they know they do want a new start or a new beginning. They're willing to open up about that shit. Um, it might be somebody you're not expecting. Probably somebody nobody likes. Or they feel like they're not going to be victorious. When it comes to the emotions of this person who wants to come back into the cold, in from the cold. Or it's like letting an enemy back into their house, which is like, mm, dangerous. Yeah, and then that just kills everything. And there's more heartbreak once again. Yeah, maybe that's not a good idea. So, everyone, group two, that is the end of y'all's reading. If you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe if that's what you want to do. No pressure, of course. At least not for me, but I will greatly appreciate it. Uh, Alright. I love you guys. Be good, please, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.